בשם השם נעשה ונצליח תורה סיבנן ומשה מורשה קהילת יעקב בעזרת השם I'm going to try to uh, summarize what uh, הרב אליהו נתן אנישלי את המנשן today on uh, י' בית אב זה אב טוולף regarding to אליהו הנביא So today is the day that Eliyahu Hanavi went to uh, heavens right, uh, with a fiery chariot, a uh, chariot that uh, is mentioned, about 27, 2,700 years ago. Just as a side, if I can add, uh, there is an opinion that uh, says where this place happened in Israel, and one could go And they, they have a sign there that this is where is known that Eliyahu Hanavi um, uh, with a fiery chariot went to Shamayim. And our um, Chachamim teach us that Eliyahu Hanavi was Pinchas who achieved everything that he had to achieve in this world. And then he was a uh, transformed to a Malach. Some say that originally he was a Malach, then he became a Pinchas, Eliyahu Hanavi, difference of opinion. And he went to Hashem, and since then he, he's been helping Bnei Israel in uh, many, many areas. So, because of this, it's, uh, it's, it's known to know, it's good to know, that every Mosai Shabbat we come and ask Hashem that Hashem should send us Eliyahu Hanavi. Uh, there is this uh, famous section that we read on Mosai Shabbat, Eliyahu Hanavi Zachol Latov, Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hanavi, that Hashem should send us Eliyahu Hanavi in this coming week, studying the Mosai Shabbat. Why Mosai Shabbat we say this? Because that's the first opportune time which Eliyahu Hanavi can come and help us to achieve help us to achieve the ultimate redemption the preparations that are required before Mashiach comes will be by Eliyahu Hanavi. In fact, Eliyahu Hanavi is the one who's gonna come and inform the Chachamim that who is Mashiach and that Mashiach is coming. Eliyahu Hanavi would not come on Erev Shabbat, on Shabbat, on Yom Kippur, on Yom Tov, because that wouldn't be fair for Shabbat and Yom Tov, for being desecrated. Now, we know that there is a very famous sefer called Tana Debe Eliyahu that was written by Rav Anan. This sefer is the sefer that Rav Anan wrote all the teachings of Eliyahu Hanavi. So as it is explained in Gemara, Ketubot Daf Ufhei that uh, Rab Anan had the privilege of Eliyahu Hanavi coming to him and teaching him Torah. And he took notes and he compiled this wonderful sefer called Tana de Beliahu. The sefer Tana de Beliahu. It's a very wonderful sefer and it has a lot of segulot. But those who study it or learn it, it's going to help them to get cure if chas they, they they're suffering from a sickness or if they need refuah shenema. Even uh, 10-15 minutes a day is going to be very helpful. Another segula of Tana de Beliau is if a person is suffering from nightmares 
or dreams that are not uh, you know pleasant to him by reading tana debel yahu especially particularly going before going to sleep it's going to help him not to have bad dreams even so for the children the children who have a hard time falling asleep or they have nightmares their parents can just read it to them it's hard to understand on the video obviously it's a high level <coughs> but just reading it to, to them it's going to be very helpful uh, avoiding any nightmares another segular of Tana de Bediahu which is very much recommended especially for adults men is that by reading Tana de, uh, Tana de Bediahu it's going to stop or uh, make Sheikh Fazer al less to uh, some extent. Obviously, there are many other ways that a person needs to watch himself, particularly his eyes. But Tana uh, Rebel is going to be helpful to avoid a person to become Balkari, a man. So, in Gemara, Kitubot, Daf Kuf Hei, if I'm not mistaken, over there explains about Rab Anan. That he was a very big Sadiq. And Hagodosh Baruch who sent Eliyah Hanavi to teach Torah to Rab Anan. And uh, he was able to write two sections called Tana de Beliahu. One of them is uh, Tana de Beliahu Zutra, Eliyahu Zutra, or Eliyahu Rapa. Eliyahu Zutra, it's the uh, lessons of Eliyahu Hanavi um, after Rav Anan made a mistake, he did a khat. Before he made a mistake, when he was in his uh, best position of learning Torah, Eliyahu Hanavi taught him Eliyahu the Rabbah. Eliyahu the Rabbah means the Eliyahu the Gadol. Those are the wonderful, more deep, you know, lessons of Eliyahu Hanavi. Zutra is less deep. It uh, was all the teachings that was teaching uh, that was taught by Eliyahu Hanavi to Rav Anan after he made a khat. Now, why is this uh, Sefer Tana de Biliyahu has two sections? Because uh, Eliyahu Hanavi is very sensitive on, a, uh, on seeing a person making a khat. If a person makes a khat, then Eliyahu Hanavi might not come to learn Torah with him. Obviously, a person needs to be on a very high level that Eliyahu Hanavi comes uh, teaching him Torah. And Eliyahu Hanavi was able to teach Torah uh, like a Rav to his Talmud, to Rav Anan. And that is all the writings that Rav Anan collected in uh, Eliyahu the Rabbah. But after he made a Chet, no more he was allowed to sit in front of Eliyahu Hanavi and write it. And he was, uh, he had to go in a box and close the door, close the top of the box, not to see Eliyahu Hanavi and ask, asking him his questions and writing the answers. So in the, te- in the Sefer Tana de Beliyahu, they have, they have uh, uh, put these sections of the teachings in uh, many forms of questions, answers, uh, even in the Seder of the Parshiot, that one could... Uh, read them and understand them. And I know that even Tana de Bediyahu has been translated to English. And uh, I'm sure that a person could benefit from um, the English version as well. Now, talking about Eliyahu Hanavi being very sensitive when a person does a chet, Harav Eliyahu Netan initially explained 
در تهواز دیس راو دیس راو دیس خخم that had a servant and before he would start having his meal the خخم the rav would give to the servant food first and then he would start having the meal this way the servant would not uh, would not be watching his uh, his master eating meal and not not giving anything to him and starving meanwhile there was another خخم another rav that first He would eat himself, and then after he would finish, he would give food. Uh, he would give uh, the uh, the leftover of his meal to the other um, to his servant, and the Ahanavi would come learn Torah with the one who preceded giving food to his servant, and then having the food himself. So from here we learn how Eliyahu Hanavi was sensitive and careful uh, for Adam Lachavro, the relationships between a person and his friend. And not necessarily has to be a person and another Yehudi, even a Goy. Another story is uh, mentioned uh, that Rav uh, Yushua ben Levi was a very big rav once he saw from far away perhaps from 100 kilometers away he saw a Yehudi being torn apart being eaten up lo alenu by a lion and from that time and on and Yohanavi did not come to Rav Yushua ben Levi teaching him Torah. Why? What was his mistake? What did he do wrong? What happened that Rav Yushua ben Levi lost the privilege of uh, learning Torah from Eliyahu Navi, our Chachamim teachers, because Eliyahu Navi had tain on him. He had complained against him. Eliyahu Navi I knew that he could have prayed. He could have davened and uh, with more kavana, I had more powerful prayers stopping that lion eating up a Yehudi. And he didn't. So he was, he was guilty himself. Rav Yehusha ben Levi was guilty. He could have stopped it. Uh, if I can add this concept, it's a very important concept. It comes to teach us. Kol Israel Arabim that every Yehudi is responsible of another Yehudi. We cannot just close our eyes and say, okay, leave him alone, mind your own business. It's none of my uh, business to deal with him and just let a person uh, make a mistake or continue a mistake. If we can stop a person to commit an avera, to commit a sin, or we know some information that perhaps we can help a person, we need to provide him with it. And we should not say, well, let him figure out himself, or I have this uh, contact, why should I share with him, is gonna take away my success now. We have to look uh, and consider Every single Yehudi as our own. So, uh, <clears throat> these are some of the wonderful teachings that uh, Arab Eliyahu Netan initially shared with us. And he concluded that Eliyahu Navi in future is going to come. And he's gonna tell us who is Mashiach. And he's going to uh, tell that first to the Chachamim. And then we're gonna come and start preparing for Eliyahu Navi, uh, Mashiach uh, to come. Bezat Hashem. Uh, the Zechut of Eliyahu Navi should be a protection for Am Israel. We should take advantage of this wonderful Sefer that has a lot of practical lessons for us. 
uh, by reading it, by teaching it to others. Bezat Hashem. Um, Bezat Hashem, we should be zoche to hear uh, the footsteps of Eliyahu Navi coming, followed by Mashiach Sitrenu Bim Harabi Amenu. Amen. Please feel free to search, uh, feel, feel free to uh, share this uh, recording with those who uh, cannot benefit from Harav's wonderful, precious lessons of Torah uh, in, uh, in Ivrit or in uh, Farsi. This, hopefully, Vezat Hashem, if Hashem gives me the Zechut, I'm going to continue putting the teachings in English. For those who speak English, that this way everyone can benefit from uh, his Torah. Bezat Hashem. All the best and feel free to subscribe to this channel to get uh, new uh, recordings. Bezat Hashem. And share with me your feedback. Bezat Hashem. We should all grow together. Amen. Call to.